Hey guys, welcome to Kaji Baji. Today we are sitting on my kitchen floor and we are going to do some felting wool balls with Francis. We are making some Montessori toys and this will be part of it. So we ordered a pack of wool roving off of Amazon, honestly, because it's super convenient. You absolutely can buy felted wool balls. Like that's totally a thing. But I <laughs> like matching things. So the wool balls come, or the wool came in little like knots like this. I'm just opening them up. And what my intention was is I'm splitting this in half. So I'm just grabbing and pulling until I have about two equal sections. One is gonna be set aside and this I'm gonna make something else with. And that's really why I ordered the wool roving is because I wanted to be able to match her other toys to these toys. It's non-essential, but it is fun. Hey guys, this is future Jordan. Turns out that trying to walk you through this process while also doing this process with a one-year-old is a little bit distracting and takes about 45 minutes. So rather than wasting your time, we are shortening things here and we're just going to walk you through it with talking. The first thing we did was divide our wool roving in half and save half of it for a future project. And then I took this and divided it into approximately four equal sections. You could totally weigh these out and make sure they're the same. Honestly, I did not care that much. Francis totally won't care that much. And so they're close enough for us. Once we divided them out, I just took and gently rolled them into little puffy balls and got that shape started is really what we were after there. And I did this with all eight colors, four of each. And from here, we have a big metal bowl with one squirt of hand soap. Honestly, I just used Miss Myers because that's what I had sitting on my kitchen counter. And then some boiling water and a bath mat for good measure. Apparently we needed that. Absolutely, this is not where you want your kid's hands. So we did not let Fran stick her hands in there because it is very, very hot water. From here, you can see she picked up on the process quite quickly. You're gonna put the little puffy balls into the water and roll them gently between your hands. You're just getting them lightly soapy and damp and then using that to smooth out all those little fuzzies that are on the outside. This is just initiating that process, helping them to start forming their shape. Very, very gently rubbing them between your hands here. Frances was a very great helper and she totally got on board with putting all the little puff balls into the soapy water far faster than I could keep up with. Um, probably ideally would have like not soaked all of them in the water for 20 minutes, but that's what happened and it was fine. So once I got the shape gently started, I attempted to put them in a Tupperware, but Francis and her love of containment thought everything should be in the big bowl. So you will ideally put your roughly very gently formed felt balls into a piece of Tupperware and pass that off to your kiddo or somebody to shake. I wasn't fast enough. <laughs> So <laughs> Fran definitely was beating me to the punch in getting them back in the big bowl. And that's really that process there. You're just getting all of the little tufting, like you're just getting all the little rough. <laughs> okay. Fran was really, really good at putting them in the big bowl, guys. She loves containing things and wants it all <laughs> in one big group. Um, finally, we got her to allow us to put them in the Tupperware and then she got to actually shake it. I did not give her enough credit for what she would be able to help with. She absolutely was so helpful through the whole process. Honestly, all I thought she was going to do was shake the Tupperware and she was all about every single step. So once she figured out that we wanted her to shake it, it was game on from then on. There you go, as we can see. And so you're going to repeat that with all of your little balls. Yeah. And it's a super fun process. This was definitely one of the easier parts for Francis to do. Um, and we just kept adding to it. As needed, you can put a little extra water, some extra soapy water in that Tupperware because they're going to keep absorbing it. 
Um, it is wool after all. So how it actually felt is with friction and heat. So rubbing it between your hands and then the heat and soap creates, the soap actually gets into it and creates more friction on the inside as you shake it. And that is what actually like nestles those fibers together to felt them. It's as simple as that. We did this process in our kitchen because it was a nice non-carpeted area that could get wet and messy and was relatively easy for cleanup. But I just had a non-slip gripper underneath a everyday towel that was Good intended job. to contain some of the mess. Yeah! <laughs> You're making it! Whee! Whee! Yeah! There we go! So as you can see, we definitely got some water on our floor and it's a great precursor to mopping. Um, also why we did it on our kitchen floor and Fran started that process for us already. So she was all about rolling the balls as well. It's one of those things that I just absolutely didn't expect her to pick up on and she totally did. So that was my own like preconceived notions about her abilities there. And you can weigh it out if your kids are a little older or just, I mean, honestly, she's one and a half and she did a great job with it. So they don't have to be very old at all, I would say, but they can totally help with every step of the process. And she loved rolling the little balls together. So that's really that process. Once you get all your little balls, just kind of pre-felted is what we're going to call this. There we go. You're so silly. <laughs> <laughs> You're so silly. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> yeah. Good job. So you're going to lay out your gripper, a just everyday towel, and then a piece of bubble wrap. And you can add some extra soap or some hot water as needed here. We definitely needed fresh hot water at this stage. And all you're going to do is take your little pre-felted balls out of the Tupperware and rub them against the bubble wrap. That's going to really actually finalize the felting. Pro tip. Don't give your kids cheddar bunnies in the middle of this process. Definitely does not aid in the cleanup later. Uh, yep, but snacks are good, I guess. <laughs> so <laughs> from here, you're just going to rub with a cutting board is what we used. It's just honestly a bamboo cutting board. Fran totally helped with this process as well. Again, I wasn't expecting that, but I was super proud of her. And from there, if there's any that are like splitting in half or just kind of look like they're still a little wonky, just keep rubbing those with some extra soap, some extra like water until you get them to your desired shape. Cutting board absolutely would be my go-to with this. If you don't have a cutting board that you're willing to allow to be used in this process, then you can use the lid from a Tupperware or anything that's gonna have a little bit of grip to it. The cutting board had more friction against it, so it definitely helped contain them more than using the lid to the Tupperware. But you can use whatever you have on hand. I definitely have still used this cutting board after this in my kitchen and haven't had any issues with felt getting on anything. It cleaned up in probably 10 seconds with a sponge after this process, so. And that's that. This is about the firmness that we wanted. You could use these for garlands. You can use them in your crafting projects. These are just for Fran to sort. We have a little like wooden compartment and some tongs and she can pick them up and practice different ways and of containing things. So she does very much like containing things. So it's super fun. And that's that guys. Wool felted balls. And they're like, If you have any Montessori making projects with your kids, we would love to hear about those. Any suggestions or ideas of things that we could do together as a family, I'm all about that. And I like involving her in the process of making her own toys. And my husband's making me say, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share this with any other crafty moms that you know who want a simple, fun, 
relatively mess-free project. I mean, if you don't give your kids cheddar bunnies in the middle of wool felting, then you probably won't have as nasty of a mess to clean up. But yeah, Finn, can you say bye? Bye. Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. Follow us for more stuff, kids projects, sewing projects, wool felting projects. This is not a wool felt ball. This is the cover to the mic. <laughs>